Hey you guys, Leslie here with Catching Waves Yoga for our now official Saturday morning sessions. So I hope you guys are doing well this morning and are ready to do some yoga. Uh, as you start popping on, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Let me know that you're here. Leave a little comment. Why are you here? How is this helping you? If you are seeing this on YouTube later, subscribe. You keep coming back, so you might as well be make it permanent. Um, share it with your friends. Tell them to join, right? Send them a little invite to our group so we can just continue growing this, but it's not even about the growth. It's about helping me help others get out of pain. Um, so again, if you're brand new to this group and you're like, I have no idea who this is and why she just does yoga, there's a couple reasons. I have a condition called thoracic outlet syndrome and it was very debilitating at a couple years ago. And through yoga and through the melt method, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about that another time, those two modalities have truly helped me get to a point where I can be a human again. I can wear a sports bra again. Um, I can move, I can do a downward dog and not worry about you know my upper body compressing and causing burning pain and numbness in my arms. So um, that's why I do it. I know how much yoga has helped me. And as I've said many times, you show up to yoga sometimes for an initial reason, like getting out of pain um, or finding flexibility, but then you keep coming back. And it's not necessarily from that original reason that we come back. We come back because you feel good, right? In your body, you start to feel good in your mind. You learn how to breathe. You learn how to slow down and to connect inward. Um, and I think it's really important because so many people join yoga and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not flexible. I can't do this. I can't is the, um, the biggest reason you're not doing anything, right? You stop yourself before you start. So, have your people join. Um, we're still in the middle of COVID. Can you guys believe it's already been like almost an entire year? Um, and I started this group specifically as a time to give you guys an opportunity to be still, to reflect, to heal. And it's just a really amazing experience. So I'm glad you guys are here and you made it to our official Saturday mornings. And uh, hi, Billy, I see you there, good morning. If you are just jumping on, say hi, give me a heart, something. Otherwise, I'm gonna get back to my mat and uh, we're gonna start this. So, I assume you already have your mat. I assume you already have your water. Maybe come down to the floor a little less ungraceful, more graceful than I just did there. Um, take a drink of your water really quick and then we are going to jump in. If you have a pillow, you can sit on your pillow right now. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Um, again, because I do have that medical condition, which is really on kind of the remission side right now, um, I will give you guys lots of different modifications that's gonna work better for your body. But if you ever get into a pose that just is not comfortable in any way, shape, or form, back out of it. Find a different variation, whether it's even just changing your arm position, lowering a leg, whatever it may be, because you always wanna make sure that you are honoring what your body can do, right? And there's no issue if you have limitations, you work around them. So, that being said, get yourself in a comfortable seat, whether your legs are crossed, extended, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're tall through your spine. And then uh, sit up super tall, you're gonna close your eyes. And before I forget, today's practice will be a very limited arm uh, yoga. So we'll be up in the air on our feet quite a bit today. So we're going to not do a lot of planking. We're not going to do a lot of uh, chaturanga with push-ups. Um, and that's just for a lot of the people who do have TOS. When you overactivate chest muscles, arm muscles, back muscles, um, it can cause more of that compression. So I'm acknowledging where I am at right now with my body and I know I need to not have arms being active too much. So anyways, here we go. Go ahead, sit up tall, close your eyes, take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that, in and out. Great, just let that breath come in and out through the nose in a nice comfortable rhythm. And begin to notice where you're already holding in tension. Maybe you're feeling it in your legs or in your 
low back. Just actively give your legs a wiggle and just try to let them relax towards the ground. Keeping a nice straight line through your spine, breathing in and out through the nose. And just really allowing yourself to slow down. If you're uh, in Michigan, well, what's Michigan? It's a rainy morning, so it's kind of nice to just slow down, chill it out, and just be still for a couple moments. And with that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand right onto your belly. And as you breathe, just notice what parts of your body are moving with the breath. Maybe you're noticing your chest is lifting and only your chest, or maybe your shoulders are all the way up to your ears. Relax your shoulders down. And with this next inhale, feel your belly and your chest lifting away from you in equal pressure. Take a big inhale. And exhale, draw it all back in. Inhale, expand. And exhale, contract. Two more, just like that. In, out, last one. In, and out. Great. Go ahead and release your hands down onto the front sides of your knees, wrapping your fingers underneath of your kneecaps. And take a big breath, really lengthen through your spine and send your gaze towards the ceiling. And on an exhale, just lower your chin to your chest. Nice straight spine here, opening up through the neck, through that low back. Inhale, look up. Nose goes to the sky. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. One more, just like that. In. And as we exhale, we're going to bring our chin to our chest and also start rolling through your spine. So pull the middle of your back towards the wall behind you. Feel your hip bones rotating up towards the ceiling. And again, keep that chin deep into your chest here, feeling that stretch. We're going to stay in this pose for several breaths. So take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, really feel your shoulder blades releasing towards the front of the room. Getting the deepest stretch you can here. Keep it going. One more. And with that next inhale, really press your tailbone into your mat and slow and control. Roll all the way up through your spine. And then coming into that neutral spine here. Take a big breath in. And now, release your hands down by your hips. Inhale, bring them all the way up to the sky, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, float them down, chin to chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. One more, in. And out. Great, inhale, all the way back up, holding it here. Bring your palms together and really press them in towards one another. Keeping those shoulder blades down your spine here. One more big breath in. And exhale, take that right hand to the left wrist, lean over to the right. Turn your chest towards the ceiling here and try to extend that left arm the best you can. And again, if this is too much, just Release the hand down. You can always take your left hand to the shoulder and keep that lean to the right so you can keep opening up through the side body. Inhale, visualize your ribs extending to that left wall. Exhale, contract it in. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Great, inhale all the way back up to center, look up. Exhale, float your arms down. Get a little shimmy shake in your upper body. Inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, arms go high, look up to the sky. 
Palms together, press. And exhale, right, left hand to right wrist. Lean over to the left this time. Again, rotating your chest towards the ceiling. And just breathe. Always honoring your body, finding what you can do, how you can move, and what feels good. <coughs> Keep those big inhales going. And out. One more, just like that big breath. And exhale. Inhale, arms go back up. Exhale, float them down, chin to chest. Inhale, lift those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Two more. Last one. Great. We're going to come onto our tabletop position. So all fours, bringing your knees directly underneath of your hips, your wrists under your shoulders here. And then open your hands as wide as you can, really planting your palm into the mat. Go ahead and curl your toes under. This is probably the uh, extent of how much we're going to use our arms today. So take a big breath in, nice flat back here, send your gaze to the top of your mat, and exhale. Inhale, drop your belly, send your hips to the sky, press into your hands and look forward. Exhale, round your back, pulling it towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. And exhale, round. As we move through our cat cows, connecting to your breath. Inhale, lower the belly. Exhale, round. And keep that going. Just acknowledging what's going on in your body, where you're feeling that tension, where you're feeling a stiffness. And let your breath help you release it all. And we'll do two more. Last one. Great, come back into your neutral tabletop position here. We're gonna walk that left hand in towards the center just a little bit, and on an inhale, extend your right hand forward, really lengthen through your fingertips. Take a big breath in, and out. Holding it there, we're gonna slow and control, lift our left leg, pointing those toes to the wall behind you. Engage your core, and really lift that arm and legs so you're parallel to the ground here. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled, bring your elbow and your knee in to meet in the center. Inhale, lengthen, extend them out. And exhale, round, pull them in. Slow and controlled. If your body shakes, it is okay. Keep the movement going, connecting it to your breath. We'll do two more on this side. Last one. Great, release that knee down, release your palm down, and then when we're ready, slow and controlled, bring that left hand forward. Adjust the right hand as needed, and when you're ready, send your right toes towards the back wall, holding it there, pressing into that right hand, lifting away from the mat, Engage your core, take a big breath in. Exhale, slow and controlled, connect to the center. Honoring every shake that you have, feeling every sensation to its fullest, and breathe. Keep it going. Yoga is truly about that perseverance, finding our limit, seeing how far we can push ourselves, and seeing how much we can grow physically and mentally and even spiritually. One more. Extend it out. And then plant that hand, plant that knee. We're gonna bring our big toes into the center, open your knees as wide as your mat, and then sink your hips towards your heels, coming into our child's pose. Walk your hands forward and slow and controlled. Begin to release your forehead all the way down. If this is too much for you, you can stack your fists one on top of the other and bring your forehead just to rest into your hands. Close your eyes here. 
And just take a moment to take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, release. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Just let your breath come to a normal rhythm, in and out through the nose. And if you can, release one hand and then the other. Again, acknowledging where you're at in your practice, bringing that forehead all the way down to the mat. And just really allowing your upper body to relax here. Focusing on that breathing, slowing yourself down, big inhale. And exhale. One more just like that, in. And out. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, find your flow up to our tabletop position. And then step your left foot forward, followed by your right, coming into our forward fold. Allowing your upper body to just relax over your lower body. Tuck your chin into your chest so you can really lengthen through your spine here. And if you have a big bend in your knees, that's okay. Allow your lower back to open up, and with time, you'll be able to straighten your legs a little bit more. And again, honor where you're at in your practice. Inhale, glide your hands up to your thighs. Straighten your legs, straighten that upper body. Send your gaze out forward, and just take a big breath in. And exhale, fold, releasing your upper body over your lower body. Inhale, lengthen, gliding yourself back up into our halfway lift. Hands can come to the shins this time, or to the thighs, whatever is comfortable for you. Take a big breath in, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, slow and controlled. We're gonna draw a big circle with our arms as we stand all the way up. Arms come up and overhead, slight back bend at the top. And exhale, palms together, bring them to our heart. Take a breath here. In and out. One more just like that. In and out. Great job. You can release your hands forward. Step to the front of your mat even further here. And then again, inhale, arms go high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend those knees. Inhale, we're just gonna lift our arms, lift our chest. Apparently, touching your plant as well. Just kidding, maybe you don't have a plant next to you. Coming into our chair pose here. Really lifting your chest, lifting those arms. And again, if this is uncomfortable with your arms, just bring them down onto your hips or onto the front of your knees or in prayer pose, right in front of your chest. Find what's comfortable for you. Take one more big breath in, and exhale, forward fold, hips go high. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. And exhale, palms together at the heart. Take a breath, in and out. Great, go ahead and step to the center of your mat and open your feet as wide as you would like, making sure those toes are pointed towards the front, front wall. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, bring them down, chin to chest. Inhale, arms go up. Palms together, slow and controlled. We're gonna to start to hinge right from the hips. 
sending your hips back and coming into our halfway lift. Holding it here for just one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slight bend in those knees. Continue the journey down. Forward fold. Chin the chest. Press those fingertips into the floor. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale. Fold. Bend those knees. Inhale, slow and controlled, all the way up. Big circle overhead. And exhale, just bring your hands down to your side. We're gonna rotate to the right side of our mat, coming onto the ball of that back foot. So again, if you have to bring a foot forward so you can still continue to get a little range of motion here versus this really long, exaggerated stretch, find what's comfortable for your body. You're still going to work your muscles equally. So again, front foot, points towards the front of the mat, rotate your hips so they line up with the corners of your mat, and come onto the ball of that back foot, wherever you are at. And then get a bend in that front knee. Really lengthen through your chest. You can keep your hands right here on your hips, or inhale, lift them all the way up. Big stretch. Holding it here, just really focusing on your breath. Finding what's comfortable for you. One more big inhale. Exhale, spiral that back heel down, really pressing into that outside edge of your foot, and then open your arms as wide as your mat. Rotate your chest towards the wall in front of you, and then turn your head. Look over your front hand here. If you lift it up out of that front knee, try to sink it back down. Focusing on your breathing here, inhaling in, and out. And again, if it's too much with your arms extended, bring them to the hips or in prayer pose right in front of you. Don't forget to smile. You even find a little bounce in this pose, activating those muscles. One more big breath in and out. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen through that front foot, step your back foot forward about a foot and then release that front arm down, coming into our triangle pose. Left arm goes to the sky. You can either turn and look towards the ceiling, out towards the wall in front of you, or down towards your mat. Find what's gonna work best for you, your neck. Just don't let your head dangle here. Resist gravity. Take a big breath in, and out. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna spiral that left hand down to meet the right, and then step your left foot up to meet your front. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, fold. Now, if you know how to do a chaturanga, you're more than welcome to do one right now. If not, we're just gonna step one foot back, lowering that knee. Sweep the other one back around. You can open your knees as wide as your mat again. And then we're gonna come into our child's pose. Releasing your forehead all the way down. And close your eyes. Take a big breath in. And out. Even bigger inhale yet. And exhale, let it go. One more, just like that, in and out. Good job. Just let your breath come to a normal rhythm here. You can keep your arms extended out in front if you'd like, or you can walk them back underneath of your shoulders and really allow your shoulder blades to wrap forward. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing you're grateful for, but this time I want you to really picture it in your head and feel the feeling as you think about it.
And on that next inhale, press into your hands. Just lift your upper body away from the floor. Pull your knees into center and as gracefully as you can. Bring one foot forward. Press into that foot. Come all the way up to standing. And walk yourself to the front of your mat. And once you're there, inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up. Look up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands to the back sides of your ankles and pull your elbows as wide as the room, really feeling a deeper stretch here. You can bend your knees if you'd like. Tuck that chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. And exhale, palms together. And bring them to your heart. Close your eyes. Take a breath. Great job. Let's go ahead and step to the center of your mat again. Getting a nice wide stance here. Toes go towards that front wall. Take a big inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale. Hinge at the hips. Bring it forward into our halfway lift. And keep it going. Bend those knees. Come all the way down into our forward fold. Press your fingertips into the ground. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Keep those knees bent. Inhale, slow and controlled, all the way up, big circle. And bring those hands to your heart. Take a breath. And out. This time we're gonna rotate to the left side of our mat, pointing those left toes forward, coming onto the back ball of your foot here. Inhale, sink it low, and again, find whatever arm position works best for you. Really just honoring your body, playing around with the movement, strengthening our lower body, strengthening our core, and giving that upper body a little bit of a break here. Make sure we're nice and tall through the spine, and just focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale. One more. If you're starting to feel the shake, it's okay. That's how we grow, this is how we improve. One more breath in. Exhale, spiral that back heel down. Turn your chest towards that side wall. Open your arms wide. Look over that front hand. Really focusing on that breath. Again, if you've lifted through that front leg, sink it back down. Press into the outer edge of that back foot, not into the arch. Focus on your breathing. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Inhale, press into that front foot, straighten through your leg, step that back foot up just a little bit, and when you're ready, release that left arm down. Right arm goes to the sky, triangle pose. Really press that left hand into your left shin and spiral your chest towards the ceiling just a little bit more. Focus on your breathing. Big inhales. Big exhale. I don't know about you, but my legs are working hard right now. I've had a lot of time off from medical stuff, as you guys are aware. My body is feeling all of this, and I love it. I'm getting stronger. You're getting stronger. One more big breath in. And exhale. Rotate that right hand to meet your left. Step your back foot up to meet your front. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Again, you can move through a chaturanga or step one foot back, lower that knee, sweep your other leg around. Open your knees as wide as your mat, bring those big toes in to touch, and then send your hips to your heels. Bring your forehead all the way down. Now, if you want to stretch out your low back a little bit more, bring those knees into center. And then again, listen to your body as you release yourself forward. It's gonna be a little tighter with your belly under your thighs. So take a big breath in, feel the belly press into the thighs. And exhale, let it all go. Allow your body to sink right here. And once you land in your spot, you can either bring your hands under your shoulders, allowing your upper body to release forward, or Bring your hands all the way back by your feet. And again, really allow your upper body to just relax. 
Close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, release. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Just allow yourself to be still. Be present. Breathe. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for for today. Visualize it, feel it, and let it take over your body. And then next inhale, walk your hands under your shoulders and press into the floor. Lift yourself away from the mat, stacking your spine nice and tall. Loop the shoulders back and down your spine. And just take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Bring those hands forward. We're going to curl our toes under here. And we're going to get a deep stretch in through the bottoms of our feet. So slow and controlled, begin to walk your hips towards your heels again. You're going to really feel a deep stretch here. So if it's too much, just lift your hips up and away just slightly, finding a pressure that's comfortable for you. And again, straight through the spine, gaze goes forward. Pull your chin towards that back wall just slightly, focusing on that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Find something to just hold your gaze, to take your mind off the sensations that you're feeling. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, float them down, chin to chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. One more, in. And exhale. Bring them all the way down, arms come forward, uncurl your toes, you're going to send your feet to one side or the other, and come all the way down to a seat. Bring your bottom to the floor, extend your legs long, and go ahead and take the flesh of your buttocks. Just pull it from one side to the other so we can really come onto our sit bones here. I want you to flex your toes towards your face and rotate your big toes in towards the center here. So you can feel that resistance. They want to open up wide. We're going to bring them in, strengthen everything. And then when you're ready, plant your hands at your hips. Sit up tall. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, moving from your hips, not the middle of your back. Hinge forward, bringing your arms maybe to your shins, to your ankles, or to the bottoms of your feet if you can get there. Again, honor your body, moving only from your hips, not rounding from the spine to get there. We're gonna work on that stability. So take a big breath in and out. With that exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper. Inhale, exhale. Take one more big breath in here. And exhale, release your hands, sitting up super tall again. We're going to take that right foot into our left thigh here. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. And exhale, twist and release over that left leg again, hinging from the hips. You can tuck your chin into your chest this time, really feeling that lengthening. And again, finding where it's comfortable for you to grab on your leg. Focus on that breathing. Big breath in and out. Inhale, release your hands. Glide your body all the way up. Sitting up nice and tall. Extend that right leg. Pull your left leg in. And then again, when you're ready, bring those arms up and overhead. Exhale, release over the right leg this time. 
hinging from your hips, working on that mobility, and then tuck your chin into your chest, focusing on that breath. And really feeling the back side of your rib cage expanding towards the sky. One more breath here. Inhale, glide yourself all the way back up, sitting up nice and tall. And this time we're going to pull our right leg in, coming into our butterfly. So bringing the bottoms of your feet in towards one another, getting them as close to your body as you can. And then go ahead and take your hands, interlace them together around your toes, pressing your elbows into your thighs. Inhale, straighten through your spine, lift through that chest. And then as we exhale, just again, hinging from those hips, getting a slight forward fold, maybe even releasing your elbows forward here. Just focusing on that sensation and breathing. Big breath in and out. And tuck your chin into your chest. One more big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, release your hands, and then again, find yourself sitting up nice and tall with your legs extended. Take a big breath in, lift those arms. And exhale, slow and controlled, we're going to begin to release our upper body all the way down to the floor. Use your abs, don't just flop all the way down. Extend your arms overhead, get a big stretch, point through your toes. And on an exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch your shins with your hands here. Just take a moment. Maybe you find a little tug, lifting that tailbone away from the floor. Or just staying right here in stillness. Take a big inhale. And exhale. You can spiral through your ankles here. First one way, and then the other. And then when you're ready, release one leg, and then the other, allowing your feet to fall open as wide as your mat, bring your hands down to the floor, palms open to the ceiling, and then go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose, exhale, let it go. Biggest breath you've taken all day, in and out. Great job. We've made it to our final resting pose, Savasana. This is our time to just be still, be present, acknowledging the sounds, the smells, the sensations around us, and just be still, breathe. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and closed. And then when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me, and we'll take a breath here. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale, press into the floor. Bring yourself all the way up to a comfortable cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap. Take a big breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. 
Palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Big inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Elbows go wide. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, bow forward. See you in your practice this morning. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I hope you guys are feeling so much better and you're ready to get on with your day. Um, so again, if you uh, want, invite your friends, invite your family if they want to join the group and hang out with me every Saturday morning. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. You keep coming back, so you might as well make it permanent. And uh, I will see you guys again very soon. So stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.